we all started because we are interested in what kind of functions uh, gut bacteria can do. And it turned out we found this one function that while important for the human physiology is the reduction of bilirubin to your brain gen. Your brain gen was then converted to uh, your brain, which causes the urine color to be yellow. One of the projects our lab have been working on is to identify this enzyme that is, that, uh, is a mystery enzyme that have now been characterized before, and this enzyme is responsible for converting bilirubin to your brain gene, and that's performed by the gut bacteria. The importance of this enzyme, bilirubin reductase, is that it helps our body break down heme and convert it into products that we can get rid of as just part of our normal, healthy course of life. But in order to understand what microbes are doing that, the first step that we needed to, to do was actually find the mystery gene that performs this function. We had a really collaborative effort with the Hall Lab to identify first a group of bacteria that could reduce bilirubin in the lab, and then our side, we were able to look at the genomes of those bacteria and eventually identify likely enzymes that we were then able to confirm their functions and then look at bigger picture trends like the relationship of that gene to different, uh, different kinds of diseases. Very commonly in infants, uh, we'll see a buildup of excess bilirubin, which then can uh, cause the coloring of the skin and eyes, uh, cause a little bit of pain for them and fevers, and in more severe cases lead to uh, you know, brain damage and you know, hearing loss and, and more severe effects. Once we had an idea of what enzyme was involved in this, we were then able to go into uh, these large publicly available data sets from young infants, healthy adults, and patients with IBD. And so we were able to kind of, for the first time, show that these young infants in the first you know, 30 to 60 days of life are often missing this gene, while healthy adults almost always have it. We were also able to see that about 30% of IBD patients were also missing that gene. Now that we have a, a much better understanding of what bacteria are involved, this can hopefully lead to some better outcomes in terms of the infants that develop jaundice. Bilirubin reductase is just a tip of iceberg of the uh, many functions our gut bacteria perform. And we want to further characterize more enzymes like it to understand uh, the role of the gut microbiome perform in our human health.